My name is R.J. Toughness, and we're going to talk about math today. The very basics of math are very important for us. The first question I have is, how do you feel about math? Are you very interested in it? Is it boring? Do you dislike it? Do you hate math? Are you terrified by math? Or are you just hopeless and you'd rather just throw it in the garbage? If you're in one of these categories down here, below very interested, you're not alone. On this book, Unlock the Mystery to Math, you'll find on the back cover a chart. And you'll see that this chart shows the grades of different countries of advanced math. Down at the bottom here, where the red marking is, is USA. We're in the dumps. But before we get into the subject of math, I want to talk about something else. Let's take up the subject cars. You'll agree with me that there are a lot of different types of cars. We have Hondas, BMWs, Fords, Audis. But let's say, for example, the executives of Honda decide to start cutting back on the advertising because of recession, not enough money, whatever their situation. And let's say the word Honda has actually gone away from our vocabulary and now it's just simply called a car. You can see this could create a big headache. Can you imagine someone calling Pep Boys and saying, hey listen, I need a part for my car, uh, I need a new windshield wiper. And of course the clerk would say, well what kind of car do you have? The owner would say, well the name of it is car. This is ridiculous. You know something like this would never happen in the real world. Well, I have a surprise for you. In the subject of math, it does happen that way. In the world of math, we have four different subjects. Can you guess what one of those subjects are? That's right, algebra. Another one? Geometry. Another subject, uh, a lot of students don't study this one, but it's a very important subject. It's called calculus. Now what about this branch right here? What is this called? Well, believe it or not, it does have a name. It's called arithmetic. I did a survey of about 300 public students in the school system not too long ago, and I found from fourth grade on up that students had never seen or heard of this word arithmetic. 90% of the students never saw this word arithmetic. Then I went to the college and I asked there. 40% had never heard of this word arithmetic. I decided to do a little search on this. And I found that in the 1960s, this word arithmetic was gradually removed from textbooks. Why is it that we need to understand this? If you were building a house and the foundation was really weak, how long would that house be standing? One earthquake, it's flat. Nothing there. Well, let me tell you, if you don't have the foundation of math, which is arithmetic, you will not be progressing well in algebra geometry, let alone calculus. So we have to really nail this one down. Ten branches of arithmetic are used in each one of these. When you get into algebra, there's two branches. Geometry has two branches, as does calculus. In my next segment, I'm going to go over the ten branches of arithmetic. And that word is so important for us to get down solid. And therefore, with this solid foundation, we can advance with certainty and not be overwhelmed by this subject called math.